My name is Jordan Lukens. I graduated in May 2020 with a Bachelor's of Science in Zoology. I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, and my Brutus years were 2017 to 2020. I wanted to become Brutus originally because when I got here in freshman year in 2015, I was a cheerleader for my first two years, and I had done all-star cheerleading for about 10 years before that. So I was really accustomed to cheerleading and how it works at the all-star and collegiate level. But once I got here, I really got to see the behind the scenes portion of the mascot team and all that Brutus did, his community involvement, his role at the games, all the lives that he impacted. And I was really drawn to that. So that's when I made the choice to switch over to the mascot team and give it a shot. I think that Brutus impacts all groups of people because there's really no specific group of people that like Brutus. You know, kids love him, elderly people love him, everybody in between loves him. And I think that that's really the cool thing about Brutus is that he's able to reach out and impact all these different people. Something that people don't know about being in the Brutus program is the vast spectrum of unique situations that Brutus finds himself in. For instance, uh, when we're at a football game, you know, you gotta go up to the Huntington Club and talk to faculty and, you know, hang out with university officials, but then at a moment's notice, you gotta turn around, run back downstairs, and then go out on the field for a promotion or go do a bit with the band or something. So there's a really wide spectrum of different events that we find ourselves in. And I think that that's something that people don't really think about when they hear Brutus. My first event was a baseball game. And I remember being very intimidated because it was me and then my handler was the only veteran on our team who had had multiple years of experience. So I was really nervous in the moment, thinking about how I can adapt to the situation, how I can start chants, and it was all really new to me. So it was really like a building block to get me to where I am now. But overall, I remember being very nervous, but I think it went pretty well. After I got out, the veteran had told me that I did really well, but in the moment, I didn't really feel like that. So it was reassuring to hear that I had a decent first event. I think that my most impactful events were definitely hospital visits. Um, when I got to school and I realized what I wanted to do, you know, I was always drawn to medicine and I knew I had wanted to be a doctor, but I thought, you know, how could I take my resources with Brutus and apply them to healthcare and hospital settings? So I started this thing at the hospital where Brutus can routinely come through hospital rooms and visit patients with hopes of just, you know, improving their stay and brightening their day. I would dress up and go room to room, you know, I'd see a lot of chemo patients and if there were a couple special requests, I would go up into the various rooms in the hospital and visit them. But the look on their face when I or Brutus walked into the room was something that was really rewarding because, you know, they see that Brutus, the same mascot that they had been watching on TV, had come to personally visit them in their room. So seeing that look on their face was something that I really enjoyed. Uh, football games as Brutus are, you know, unbelievable because we would show up six hours before the game starts and grind out, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 events around campus. And that would take multiple hours, you know, go to certain tailgates or various parts of campus. And then after that, we would head over to Skull Session, which is awesome, and Grassy Knoll with the cheer and dance team. And then once you get in the stadium, though, you know, I think that's something that people think about is, you know, their perspective as a fan out in the stands and you never really think about, you know, like, how does the game look from Brutus's perspective? You know, like, what is it really like to be Brutus in an Ohio State football game with 100,000 fans around you cheering as you lead the team onto the field? And I think that that's it's something that's really cool and that's definitely the best part about being Brutus was football games. My most memorable moment as Brutus was probably performing on stage at the Schottenstein Center with New Kids on the Block because they had reached out to our coach uh, on like a Wednesday and said, oh, hey, you know, we want Brutus to come and perform with us at the shot on Friday. So we only, we didn't have much notice or much time to plan or anything. So they sent us a list of a bunch of things that they wanted Brutus to do. So we show up there on Friday night and I got to meet like Donnie Wahlberg and all the other members of the band. But the fans didn't know we were gonna be there. So it was a surprise. So they brought me backstage right at the bottom of the ramp. They played the fight song and then I walked out and they played like some really heroic, you know, legendary music. But once I got out, you know, the fans start going crazy. Everybody's going wild. I'm going out there doing the headbang, you know, do a tuck uh, and whatnot. And then uh, it was just really cool to be out there with uh, all the members of the band. Uh, winning a national championship as Brutus was 
one of my favorite memories from college. Uh, it was only our second national championship ever in the program, which is a really big accomplishment. Before that, you know, we make a video and submit that. That's half the score, and then we work for two and a half weeks or more on props, which are really tedious and hard to put together. And then we have to travel them and drive them all the way down to Florida, which is another hassle in its own. So I knew my X factor as Brutus was definitely tumbling, which is something that I've been doing for 10 or 12 years before that. Once we found out the skid idea, we knew that we wanted to base it around, you know, that X factor, that tumbling sequence, which was a, a full, which had never been done before in the suit, which I thought was something that could really set ourselves apart from the other competition that was there. So I think that being able to do that full in front of the whole crowd and hearing them go crazy, you know, even our fans going crazy, is something that I'll remember forever.